Good morning, boss. Good morning. It's a well, beautiful day. It's kind of afternoon. We yeah. had graduation this morning. Yeah, you're pretty right over there. Yeah, we had kids' graduation this morning. That's the good thing about owning your own business. One kid. Yeah, one. Our son graduated fifth grade, so so not like a huge graduation, but it's still maybe. But it's a family thing. Don't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the Rachel was crying. Yeah. So. He's getting older and it's sad. And I only have one kid left in elementary school now. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. You'll be all right. So today we're out mowing. Bittersweet. Yeah, bittersweet. <laughs> so today we're out mowing. Um, we have 32 yards to mow in the next two days to be completely caught up. But I'm not worried. I don't think if, it's going to happen. If, no, we're not going to. We're definitely not going to get that done. But I'm not worried because we only have 11 on Monday, 6 on Tuesday, and then Wednesday's open. So we'll shift everything next week. Mm -hmm. And we'll be caught up by, I think, Tuesday. And we're going to start doing some projects. Yeah, we have a project probably that we're going to do on Wednesday. And that won't even be a full day project. So. No. so we'll be able to do other things. Yeah, we'll be able to either do another project or mow on top of that. So we'll see what happens. So I'm just feeling stress-free now. Yeah. I'm just going out and having fun. So let's get this done. Let's get this done. First one of the day, they like it really, really short. But I only do it down to three and a half. So I'll get it done. I don't think I can strike this short. But we'll see. Number one done. No stripes in this one. Little ones, but you can't really see it. And we got a park on the road here. So off to the next one. So guys, there's number two. And look what nine days does after you get rain. It gives it some green, right boss? Mm-hmm. So we're going to mow this one. And it'll be number two for the day. Yeah. What you doing That's over there, man? That's good, man. I'm getting ready to listen to some music. Mine don't even work. So Rachel's finishing blowing this one off, but you guys can see, even with six days, I mean five days of rain last week, it still hasn't grown much. Well, it grew some, but it's still forming in a lot of spots. We need more rain, believe it or not. We need like rain two days a week to get this stuff back into shape. But what are you gonna do? We'll put it on a week next week, see what happens. So that's number three. And then this one's number four we're doing. We're only doing this for two weeks. They asked us to mow for the next two weeks. And then five is down the other road. But I'll show you an after. My choke is still bent, but it hasn't affected the mower at all. So I'm gonna have to fix that. So let me get this done. We finished that one, number three. And then Rachel did the one over there, number four. And then now I gotta go back down here and pick her up. So off to the next one, that's five. She should be almost be done. So we're done number five, I think that is. She did back here, and I did the front. Well, up to number six. So this is the front of that one. Rachel's finishing blowing everything off. And like I said, that's number five for the day. How's your day so far, Chit Chat? Not bad. Wait, wait, what are you talking about, chit chat? Oh, I was finished and done. It took me two seconds to blow off. Chit chat with the neighbors. Or Not the, the neighbors. Chit the chat with the client. Mm -hmm. So we're on number six and seven now, right? Yeah. And these are weeklies. They're at nine days and they didn't grow. No, they much didn't. at all. But we're still going to mow them and they're going to go a week next week because we want to. Stay ahead of it. Yeah. Right? Stay on top of stuff. Stay on top of stuff. Of the growth. So. Do you have anything to say today? To I don't YouTube? think so. Nothing special? I don't think so. But did, did I have something special? Am I getting a bonus for my birthday? No. Tomorrow's Carl's birthday. But he's not getting a bonus. And I'm not to getting To be honest off. with you, I don't even know if he's going to get a birthday present. <laughs> I'm always with him. So, I'm not even going to buy me a birthday present, you man. You didn't get me one. Oh, don't let her lie to you. You did not get me a birthday present. What? A day of work? That's your birthday present. I'm your birthday present, man. Yeah. All right. Let's get to work, buddy. <laughs> so you guys know what this one is. It's the big hill. Uh, what am I going to mow it with? I think I'm going to mow it with the beast. But I don't have a tripod, so I'm not going to record. Um, and then... The boss is going to go mow over here, and we'll be done these two. I'm so glad they're pretty small. I don't know. I might walk with the ball, but I don't 
We'll see. We'll see. I'll let you guys know when I'm done. The boss is taking her sweet old time over there. I'm gonna have the mo yard mode already by the time she gets out of the truck. I told them I have the yard mode by the time you got out of the truck. What are you talking about? I didn't say anything. Yeah. I said that you got to go mow that yard over there. That's what I said. Yeah, I know. So push mow it. Yeah. Here you go. You're gonna push mow it today? No. So guys, I'm gonna attempt to record me going down this hill holding it with one hand. Hopefully this doesn't end badly. <laughs> I just wanted to get a picture of it right there. So boss, you think I'll flip over going up this? Don't say that, but no, I don't think so. How steep that is. Yeah, it is pretty steep. think I'm gonna run over the peonies or take out the mailbox so here comes Rachel I think we might have three more after this but we gotta go take food to the kids so we'll see you then so if I got a coffee what does that mean? <laughs> that means it's the end of the day <laughs> not technically it's not the end of the day but well, we're done for the day it's 5 43 yeah and traffic was like horrendous coming from Asheville on a Friday so we were trying to get three more done but mm -hmm. by the time we go get food for the kids get it back it's already going to be almost seven o'clock right it's just no not point. worth it and yeah. the grass isn't out of control so. no I mean we just came out of a drought with this rain so so um, we got seven done today yeah and that's not too bad actually for starting, starting extremely late because of our graduation and um and then getting done kind of early too so the boss wanted to take off tomorrow for my birthday but I know. we're gonna we're gonna work yeah we're not gonna be able to but that's all and right that's gonna be a kind of a late start too because our daughter has horse fat fighting so that's yeah. why we own our own business that is why we own our own business so um we had a subscriber actually a long term long time long time Billy go yes we had a long time subscriber 
um, actually ask us a question. And yes, it was Billy Goat. So he's thank you for being such a long time subscriber. We have a couple of them that I know that have been there from the very beginning, right? Yeah. Like Billy Goat, Waldo. Um, yeah, Waldo. Um, um, Kodiak Wild's yeah, been there for a while. Yeah, he has, yeah. Um, so we really do appreciate every single, we read all the comments. Um, I try to, lately I haven't responded to everyone. I try to, but guys, please forgive me. Yeah, we get busy and he does really try to, um, you know, answer each one of you guys. But this subscriber actually asked us if we could explain our 9 to 12 day madness <laughs> our 9 to 12 day rotating schedule we have a weekly and we have a 9 to 12 day rotating schedule mm -hmm. and you guys may have heard bits and pieces of this you know before but we wanted to do an in-depth explaining how we schedule clients and how we get our clients to agree to it yeah so um you know when we first started yes we offered weekly and bi-weekly but we started noticing with the bi-weekly accounts, you know, you schedule them at 14 days and you get behind because of the rain um, and I had, or ver vi whatever, yeah, you and know. I had, I had homeowners mowers then. I had a riding tractor, Husqvarna, mm -hmm. a Poland, and we just said enough. We're yeah. going to mm -hmm. come up with a whole new idea. Yep. So Carl decided we're not doing any 14-day accounts anymore. We are going to explain to the clients that we mow according to weather. Um, we'll either put you on a weekly schedule or we'll put you on a 9 and, to 12 day and schedule. And the benefit of the weekly is 99% 90, 90 of the time it's done on the same day every week unless we get rain and backed up. Mm -hmm. And this year has been. Okay. So, so our 9 to 12 day schedule goes that if you usually get put on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. To start begin, with, to right, start to begin with. with. So let's use a Wednesday as as an example, what he's saying. If the client is on a Wednesday and there are 9 to 12 day schedule, 9 days would be Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But because we do all of our weeklies on Friday, we normally wouldn't put them on that schedule. So we'll either push them to Saturday, Saturday which would be ten days, or Monday, or Monday. If it's not really raining or if it's not really growing, um, then we would push it to Monday, and it's still two days before fourteen days, which does make a huge difference. You guys might not think that it does, but grass can grow a whole lot in two days. In two days. We also explain to the clients that technically you are really not supposed to take off a third of the grass. So when we are coming on a two week schedule, you absolutely have to be taking off more. More than a third of the grass. You're taking off sometimes three quarters of the grass. Right. So, um, you know, and especially if they want them cut lower, you know, which most two week accounts grow weeds and they want it cut lower. So thank you. Yeah. So they do want it cut lower, which I don't like to do too much, but I'll go down the three and a half is mm -hmm. my lowest. So, you know, we explained to you guys the other day how we kind of mold our clients. It's communication. Mm -hmm communication is key so in the beginning when we enroll them we explain exactly what we just told you guys about the two-week accounts about how it's not really good for the grass it's actually worse for the grass and blah 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 all that good stuff and our schedule and I want to say that 98% of the time we have had the clients very receptive to that and they go with that schedule. And when we don't show up at nine days, they're not calling us because they no. know that they are on a rotation schedule. We will I'm come. I'm going to say 90% of our clients, even if we haven't showed up in 20 days, wouldn't call us. No. They know we'd be there. Yeah, they pretty much know that we're... And especially after we just had six days of rain, I haven't received one phone call this... Oh, I did receive one phone call this week, but that's it. And I think that there was probably underlying issues that she called yeah. she probably knew about something else and was just making sure that she was still on the schedule because yeah. 
one of her friends actually dropped us. <laughs> so, yeah, so. so I think that that is actually why. Um, so yeah, I mean, our clients are awesome. And if you guys want to talk to us more about that in depth um reach out to us it's worked out awesome for us and i know some people say two week accounts because you can schedule them on the same day every two weeks i'm not we have i think 32 weeklies and 40 something on a 9 to 12 rotation oh and here's the other thing we don't bag we will not bag a lawn so we do double cut every but we lawn. do double mow every lawn so if the grass is eight inches tall even if you're double mowing you still have a lot of leftover um and we tell clients that those big bunches of you know the the debris laying yeah any grass laying on the lawn that's not good for it yeah so so I mean, I just think that it's all about communication and explaining to your clients and what you your wanna, schedule. And what you want to do with your business. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own different thing. I found in 10 years, 9 years, that rotating schedule works the best for us. Yeah. And sometimes they do fall on weeklies. And if we get all our weeklies done, we'll, do, we'll take them back to 9 days on that day and do that. If they're in the same area. The same yeah. Area. Mm -hmm. So, so um, it gives you guys that flexibility of again running your business the way and, that you and guys this is probably for a lot this would probably benefit a lot of the solo guys out there or the one two group people like me and her because you you can take on as many lawns as you want and be comfortable and mm -hmm. it probably benefits you to do that schedule even more too yeah so if like i said if you do want more information or to talk to carl about how he schedules that a little bit more then go ahead and reach out to us at happy's lawn care 777 at yahoo.com and um email us and then you know he'll get in touch with you so guys thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and remember be happy or at least try even if you only mow seven yards <laughs> yes have a good night so guys, me and Chase came out here. If you see him down there, he's watching a YouTube video right now, right? So we're out here. We're going to do some more work in the garden. It's like 8.30, so I'm going to hurry up and get out here and do some stuff. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to till some stuff. We have to figure out Rachel has um, butternut squash vines she needs to plant, and they're not doing too good. So I want to get them in the ground for her. So what I think I'm going to do is... I'm going to, if we turn around right here, see this pole all along there. I think I'm gonna plant her butternut squash. So I noticed in the morning, in the winter, the sun comes up over here where the moon is. In the morning, I noticed the sun is coming up over here. And then what it does is it comes up around and then it sets right over there. So the sun rays will come down this way and if I put the butternut squash here, it's not going to block out the tomatoes and the peppers. So hope, that's my theory, hopefully. If it does, then we'll see what happens. But because I have tomatoes and peppers and stuff that we're planting all here. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell this area for Rachel.